Everybody, welcome back to Chat and Chill. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode yesterday. Go <laughs> check it out. Done already. Paid with my like, honey trap. Man, okay. you better dress me <laughs> better. Here yeah. With a beautiful honey trap. Fellas, stay out of the DMs. I've been overly taken by other DMs. Dick pics. No dick pics. You might know her from Dr. Honey Trap Bit. Yep. Or Honey Trap TV. So go check out her channel. Link in the description below. Check that shit out. I'll put a link to her YouTube channel. You know, we see a little circle thingy. You just click her channel. Yes. Thank you. Anyway, we're going to talk about a great topic. I know you've seen the title already, so you're only here to talk about the title. And that's why you're here, so let's get straight into it. We are talking with Arranged Marriaging. And because I haven't, usually I rehearse the topic, but I haven't. So, mother basically forced her daughter to marry a relative 20 years her age. Now, the girl was 13 and the man was 29 when he apparently, allegedly raped her. And her mother took it as a marriage kind of thing so they're like you know she made sure that they got married so she basically tricked her into going to pakistan to then marry this relative that she had a kid with um she now has been given four and a half year sentence prison sentence at birmingham crown court um obviously the pakistani family obviously a lot of people know arranged marriages within african community asian community and if you want to put religion in there, you can say Islamic community as well, it's very common. So I guess the topic is about whether, you know, is it now out of date? It's the first time somebody's been put into prison for it, um, a race marriage. I mean, it is a bit more forced, you don't want to do it, so we could put it into a more, you know, I mean, he did rape a 13 year old girl at the age of 29, mm -hmm. which is completely crazy, considering that's a cousin. So that's like his blood his family. His cousin as well? Yeah. Okay. Blood family. So. Again, you can look at it both ways. It's also been stated that, uh, in a story, that basically she helped the cousin to get a passport. So they used her to get a passport. Right. Um, putting all that into consideration, I agree with her getting prison sentence for those reasonings. But for the topic in general, is arranged marriage in marriages now unpopular? No, I think they're actually a good thing, in my opinion, yeah. because... There's not, a, there's not enough commitment in the world, or in the Western world anyway. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, arranged marriages give people the support of each other. However, in that situation, that is an extreme situation. Mm -hmm. And the mother deserves all the punishment that she yeah, gets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, she should have got a bit longer because forcing your child to go and marry the man that sexually abused you is motherfucking wrong, okay? Facts. Facts, facts. What are you saying, Sidra? I agree. So I'm going to do like... fasting, so if we we'll have to ask a fasting lady, <laughs> damn So I think arranged marriage, right, it's cool, right? It's okay, it's okay. But when it's about forcing and stuff, when people are thinking like they're still living in the 18th, 17th century, yeah. right, that's when it's strong. As far as I'm like, when I see arranged marriage, it's two people, you know, two families yeah. say, hey, what do you think about this person? What do you think about this person? Why don't you guys, you know, talk, meet, etc. And you get to know the person and then you get to say yes or no to this arranged marriage. That's yeah. what I see as. But this, this is just forcing. I'm trying to understand arranged marriages, right? Because in African culture, it's more or less you see pictures, you link up, you get married. In um, the Asian community, um, this is not talking religion at this point because all Asian communities do everything like anyways, it's more or less two families coming together or two relative families coming together and, you know, they get married. How do we, like, are any of those ever forced? Like, yeah. This can't be the only one that's forced. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Look. it's the first one no, that no, no. somebody's been caught for doing it. So do you the think the is, kids are scared to come out? Like, how can you the be thing is, for that long? The thing is, right, um, like I mentioned, the documentary, um, Murdered. Murdered for Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, it, that basically is one extreme case. That girl, though, she did more or less run away from home and then married someone who she did love, but then her family emotionally blackmailed her, took her back home, mm -hmm. right, and um, killed her. So do you think families right? are too old-fashioned? Yeah, but I, I, I would... I'm talking from my like personal experience, right? Yeah. Pa in Pakistani culture, especially, yeah. right? 
and Asian culture as well in yeah. general, there is a lot of forced arranged marriages, right? And that's when we're like, you know what, today's generation, right, and maybe the generation before us that have experienced arranged marriage, right, we're like, we, you know, that's not an arranged marriage, that's just a forced marriage that the, you know, two, three, four generations behind us awesome. thought was a, you know, normal thing, right? So then why are we expecting them to follow? So if you're from a different culture, because this is what I'm trying to say, because a lot of um, people that claim to be British, that's me not trying to say a colour, but they would say, if you, you can't bring your culture to our country, but they, you know what I'm saying? Because they're doing, she did her culture in Britain. Mm -hmm. When did Pakistan do the wedding? She should have gone to prison. My point is, in Pakistan, nobody would have given a shit. They but don't. Because she's, because she's British, people give a damn. So are we, re are we just naive to the fact that they just live in Britain and we feel like we have to do something about it because we have to oblige by these rules? Yet, yeah, no one's going to fly to Pakistan or fly to Africa and go handcuff the rest of the squad doing it. I don't see the point. See, the thing is, if you watched, again, if you watched the um, Murdered for Love documentary, you see, yeah. right, that um, there was someone in Britain, I think it was part of, like, I think where they were, it, they were living in Bradford at that is based in Bradford, Bradford, right? Yeah, it was based in Bradford. Oh, so um, yeah, and I think yeah, in pa places like Yorkshire and stuff, right, where the Pakistani and Asian culture is like more dominant, mm -hmm. right? That sort of stuff is very sort of prominent in there. Like, do you know what I mean? Arranged yeah, yeah, marriage, yeah. forced marriages, etc., etc. Right, yeah. and they're very big families as well, mm. so you can't sort of run away from it. But there was, I think. Um, I can't remember the documentary correctly, like, if I remember. And there was someone here in the UK, one, once her friends basically found out, right, that this is what happened because, you know, she died, right, and they wanted to obviously, you know, make a big deal about it. They yeah. um, had, I think, sent like a letter or an email or something, to, like here in Bradford. Mm -hmm. And um, she was part of like, um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but some sort of legal thing, whatever. And then they took from obviously being she was a British citizen from mm. that side. They they felt like you know what something needs to be done about this, and they took a sort of step forward to you know for the the situation, the issue that was then. So I feel like it's if you're a British citizen, yeah. right? Then yeah, Britain has every right to sort of you know intervene, intervene and take care of you as one of their you know British born. You're not born in Pakistan, first of all. Yeah, people say, oh, you don't bring our culture, etc., etc. But if you're born here... Yeah, but the parents ain't born here. Forget the parents, it's about the individual that's going through it. It's no, but it's not, though. It's about the, the culture. That they're, they're living their culture in a different country. How can we bash them for something they're used to? That's like me, that's like me going to a person from Arab and say, bro, you in England, bro. Don't tell me you only want halal meat. You know what, the second, third generation, yeah, right, yeah. of British people now, your culture has already been washed down since the minute your ancestors or whoever, your first, second generation that came to England, right, your culture has been washed down, mate. It's been washed down. Yeah, but... So, if you're living in 2018, right, not just that, right, back, mm -hmm. back in Pakistan as well, or India or wherever, right, mm -hmm. Asia or Africa, whatever. I don't know what Africa's like, so I'm not even going to comment on that. But Asia in general, right, the concept of, you know, arranged marriage now is what I believe, you know, is okay is mm -hmm. when two families, not even two families, two friends, you know, families who know each other or people who know each other and say, you know what, so-and-so is looking to get married. Oh, I know someone. Okay, why don't we, you know, introduce the families if they don't, the families don't know each other or why don't we introduce the two, you know, individuals that are going to be joining this marriage, right? Get to know each other, right? And if you, in the end, if you like the person or you think, you know what, right? I can, you know, after speaking for however long, sometimes a month, sometimes two, sometimes even six, whatever, right? You think that, you know what, maybe on this, I can get on a level with this person, like so far, all right, cool. Then let you know we agree for the marriage. We agree to get married, right? Cool. But if not, it's just a no. 
That's how arranged marriages work. Even yeah. two families don't even know each other and it's like a marriage bureau kind of thing, yeah. right? And the person is like, oh, I, you know, they've got their own clients and they're like, oh, I think you're going to match with this person, right? Yeah. It's a matchmaking thing, right? Yeah. You get them on a date, right? They vibe on each other. They don't like each other. They walk away. That's what I believe an arranged marriage, right? Is. Is. It, today, in 2018. Well, that's what it should be. That's what I believe it's been for. But it's, then this, it's but then this is an extreme case yeah, of forced sort of marriage. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying though. I'm saying it's extreme marriages or forced extreme marriages or yeah. It's, that's wrong it's in any case. It's normal in these countries. It's, it's normal because, where? It's because, in, it's because in, you in let it be cultures. normal. It's because you let it be normal. No, but what I'm no, saying, no, no. What, what I'm saying, saying is, you're making, you're saying, yeah, it's normal, so it's okay. It's not no, okay. It's, not it's okay never been all. okay. What I'm trying to say is, this is the first case. That's, okay, that's not been, the word normal. This is not a first case. Not the word no, normal. It's, it's common. It's, said in a, it's, in a thing, it's the first prosecution that's actually been done. Oh, okay, fair enough. It is, but Meaning, this is. They only cared because she was British. Because that's not the first time I've heard a story. Or someone having a false marriage. Yeah, but why is that a bad thing? But why is that a bad thing, though? No, but it pisses me off that there's been other cases like this before. And they just sent them back. Because yeah, but why? British. They've never, no, they've never sent That's them back. That's so deep. They just yeah, but she's British. Back. She was That's British. That's the only reason why they came back. But why is that a bad thing, though? Because why do you only care? Because she's got a British but passport. But that's, that's their that's their country. So cool? No, I think, listen, I know it's wrong. That's yeah. what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Why does the UK have to always intervene with other countries? Mind your business. She got married in Pakistan. Yeah, but that's because she's British. She's, she's British. British. Not just that. There's know, a lot of but... other laws that she got raped. She was a minor, right? She even um, uh, what do you call no, it? That, she was I'm even not talking about the raping. No, no, but it's 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 another offense. It's another yeah, Brit UK offense. Just no? the marriage. No, no, but they've taken that in consideration as well. They're not going to go there and be like, oh, she was forced in marriage. They're going to put the facts down, are they not? They're going to say, yeah. she she got raped, right? The parents thought, oh, um, you know, let you know to cover it up, we're going to take her back and we're just going to get her married to the guy who offended her, who sexually offended her, facts. right? Facts. So it's, facts. do you know what I mean? That's facts. another issue. And she was how old? 16. Well, she was 13 when, when she, she got raped. Like, and then she was 16 19. when... 19. Okay, fair enough. She was 19, but still, she was forced. She, and at that age, you have a right for your own decision. But yeah. if a family member is um, tricking you into going on a holiday and then forcing you to get married, and back there in Pakistan, whatever... There's no standing, especially for women. There isn't. Even yeah. though we're in 2018, and I feel really sorry to say it, but it's a case. And some people may argue, a lot of Pakistanis would be like, no, I have the right, da, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. The fact is, as a Pakistani, you know, you know, the culture itself, right, women are still undermined. Really? Still, today. Do you know what I mean? Let's say that. But it's the case of we're living in 2018, yeah? yeah. I'm not, but I, I, again, I'm not saying a woman should be acting like a man, rah, 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 rah. I differentiate between them both. A woman can do what a woman can do and a man can do what a man can do, right? Yeah. But in today, in today's culture, it's, you know, what well, the Pakistani culture or the Asian culture or whatever culture, mm -hmm. it's like the woman will break her back for what a man wants, right? Yeah. So a woman technically still doesn't have, because he will cheat on her, he will have how many ever wives he wants to have, yeah. right? Islamically or not, right? But he will not give her that level of respect that she deserves. Yeah. I don't even think that's just a Muslim thing or a culture thing. I think that's just a, a world thing, a worldly thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why there's such thing as feminism. As much yeah. as you know how I feel about it, I don't believe in it. But there's, there's a reason why so women are fighting. Sure yeah, you will. There's a reason why women are fighting for equal rights. No, no, no. I, I mean, the thing should. is, I feel like women already have the equal rights, right? Yeah. But, yeah, I do. Oh. I do. I feel like women have the... Damn. Look. How many people are going to be hitting you? Are they looking across <laughs> your face? Right? No, 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 no. You're not going to have equal rights, bro. Go, all you got to do is go to every big organisation and look at everyone's paycheck. You might or just walk down the street. You know, you look, like, there was a guy on the same... A presenting role earning 800k a year, chick was earning 100k a year. Same show, 
Oh snap, I didn't know that. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> no, in terms of like, I mean, in terms of um, women being able to do what they want to do. That's yeah, what I mean. I'm not talking about the whole nitty gritty of like yeah, paychecks and this and that. An but we're not respected the same as a man. I can't walk down the street without someone disrespecting me, taking way? advantage. Fucking white van men, for starters. Yeah, That's out of order. You know, like, when you're walking down the street, yeah? yeah? Walking down the street and there's, like, a white, the white van guys that whistle at you or whatever. Like, things like that, it's, it's the entitlement of a man to feel like, well, let me, you know, whistle blow or whatever. It's the entitlement. And that's the thing. We can do that, but you don't see or hear about it as much as you do with men. And this is what I mean. We get gas and girls get uncomfortable. Right. <laughs> exactly, it's the entitlement, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's the entitlement. Yeah, yeah. Now, why do you not get gas? Why can't you just keep your pants closed? Exactly. Uh, or keep I, I, your mouth I, I, shut? I don't get that, so I don't know. But, <laughs> every, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but men, men tend to, men need the approval of a female that they're hot. More because it, it's different. I girl, girls can just be told they're hot by wherever. It, a guy doesn't get told by their boys that they're sexy. A guy needs the opposite sex to let them feel sexy. So any type of mm. any type of compliments they get from a girl is what gasses them up. You can't deny that. Yeah, I a get girl, that. A girl to a girl can be like, oh, you're sexy, you're a bum, you got big bum, you got bread, mm, you know what I'm saying? In a weird way, girl on girl, like even two girls kissing and thinking they're both hot, it's kind of normal these days. But I can't just go to my boy and be like, you're sexy, fam. Why you know not? I mean? it's, just, because it's, it's just not a conversation that lads have. But it's also about the whole masculinity thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you know yeah, I'm yeah saying? 100%, 100%. So for a dude, we need a female approval. So a girl saying, Dude, what's the female approval going to do with anything, Instagram bro? And it just gasses them up, doesn't well, it? Well, what's that going to do with guys whistling? Because nobody's giving them feet. Like, no, no females giving the them feet. Point, my point was, uh, men, when, what she was saying, I said girls get uncomfortable when that happens. But then I was saying, if a girl does it to me or to a boy, we, just a get, deal, we yeah. get excited. Yeah. And that's the big difference. But also, also what, what can be intimidating is, is usually, like, you're talking about a bad white guy, mm -hmm. it's like four or five of them. <laughs> like, and they're all looking at you like... Yeah, it's disgusting. You know what I mean? And they always have like, a top off in the summertime. I know. Cherie's been paying attention to that. <laughs> what do you mean? I, never, I see it from here. Oh, sure. You've seen it. The bad guy, some bad guy from running a park up here. You would just see chicks walking across, they're like, woo, woo. I can't miss right now. But yeah, like, <laughs> it happens. Man. I see it all the time. You know, I'm not ready. Um, I guess we're concluding this topic. Would you have an arranged marriage? No. Wait, think? wait. Yes, I would. Why would you say that? Oh, yeah. I would because, because my family know what I need more than what I want. So I would It's trust... not just family, though, innit? It could be friends, too. No. Okay. No, family, better. So you wouldn't let me find your man? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Sharif! Yo, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, innit? I am not listening. You know what? See, 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 see you know what? You know what? I'm not rich. You know how many relationships I've made? No, nobody cares about that. I'm just saying. Yes. Okay, go for it. And you continue. I'm just happy that people, people, people know the powers of Sharif. No. I don't know the power. I don't know either. I just, uh, I'm trusting you. Can you trust me? You trust no. Me? Because in the I end, if it messes up, I get to blame you anyways. No, I wouldn't. Bitch. I'm Will Smith. No. Bitch. Okay, go on. Anyway. So yeah, I would. I would definitely go through with it. However, obviously what you were just saying, you go out on a date and you see if there's chemistry. If there's not, I walk away. It's not a big yeah. deal. But yeah, it's like a blind date, basically. Hell yeah. Interesting. I, I would. Think. Would you, Sidra? I would, yeah, but my dad refuses anyway. Oh, so he just wants you to find them. He he goes no, my whole like yeah, my family are like you need to find the person because you're gonna live with the person at the end of the day. Um, so I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Like I'll be cool with it because at the end of the day, it's in my hands to say yes or no, mm. right? Uh, they just think that it's best to just find the person myself. To be fair. I mean, it's twenty eighteen. I guess. Yeah, but do you know how hard it is to find <sighs> someone? Cheers. You have to keep dating and dating. It's and dating hard. And dating. Don't have the energy for that. Because, right, you know, at the same time, it's like, 
I'm working, mm. you know, 24 seven, whatever. Yeah. I've got my routine in place. In that routine, what am I supposed to do? Walk out on the street, bump into a guy and be like, hey, let's go. Let's get married or something. Do you know and I mean? nine times out of 10, he's already got someone else. Exactly. Like uh, how, do you know what I mean? That's why I think arranged marriage is a good thing in a way, because it takes that other pressure off me. See, I couldn't do arranged marriage because I know the type of girls I'm gonna get that I'm into. That's what because you don't you don't have that thing with your family. They don't know what you want. Yeah, they don't even know who that is. Yeah, but my my family know exactly what I want. My mom, my mom maybe, but she's not. She 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 doesn't believe in anything in in terms of arranged marriages to religion. So she's not really picture of my dad. Or <laughs> don't give me something. <laughs> you know, like, I'll see my friends or my cousins and stuff with their marriages and I'm just sat there and be like, I can't do that. It's not my time at all. Uh, they're not even like, nah. I need to be speaking English with y'all now. But anyways, I guess to conclude, um, two out of one wanted, wouldn't mind an arranged marriage. So I guess it's not out of fashion in terms of this conversation. Do comment in a section below. Um, I mean, if someone does comment in a section below, should I say what you think about the topic? Do you think arranged marriage is out of fashion, or would you still do it? Let me know. And don't forget to follow Honey at Honey Trap TV and Doctor Honey Trap Astro. Salute. And you can also follow cameraman Sidra at Colonel Slay. Damn right. Also, if you want photography and videography, you can follow. You can follow Sidra at Colonel Slay. No, it's at Scar oh, sorry. Photography. <laughs> <Scar> <laughs> photography. God damn, Scar she doesn't even know her own plugins. All of this stuff will be the link in the description below. Don't forget to follow the chat show and everything. So chat show show on all platforms if you really want to follow me. Link in the description below, I ain't gotta tell you. Peace. Peace.